Okay, did you guys know that you could schedule your WhatsApp messages or even create a task out of a certain WhatsApp message? You can even respond to certain messages automatically on WhatsApp. And with just one very specific message to someone, you can know their exact location through WhatsApp. Now, as of today, WhatsApp does not give these functionalities, but there are some third party apps that can help you do these things. Now, I do believe that these apps are safe, but of course, it's still your discretion at the end. Let's go. So the first one is called Wasavi. And with Wasavi installed, you can double tap on a message and convert it into a task or even create a note around it. And all your tasks or notes can be easily accessed with this bar at the top. And you can even create a reminder if it's something that you intend to do later as work. On top of this, you get the ability to schedule messages to send to someone later. And just look at the complexity of the functionality, okay? You choose the date, choose the time, you can decide between WhatsApp and WhatsApp business, and you can attach a file as well, and then just send that message. And just 10 seconds before it is about to send, it's gonna give you this alert, so you've got the ability to snooze, cancel, or just let it go. And it will take a couple of steps to make it happen. As simple as that. Another really useful feature. So what happens when you press on the call icon in WhatsApp? It initiates a WhatsApp call, not a regular call. But with Wasavi installed, if you tap on the call icon at the bar, it actually takes you out to the regular dialer for a normal phone call. And by the way, you can also set up automatic responses. So if you go into chatbots, you can prepare a new chatbot with a certain set of rules that if someone sends you a message with a certain term, then what it is that the WhatsApp should automate for you. And there are a couple of options that you could go through and set it up for yourself. I do think it's more helpful for businesses, not so much for individuals. Now, this next app for WhatsApp is super useful. So let's say that you're trying to reach out to your child or your significant other, and you're unable to reach them. And you wanna know where they are, are they safe? Or well, there's something you can do about it. You could send a very specific phrase to their WhatsApp and in return, get their location. That is really cool. Now it's pretty simple, you just install this app on their phone, okay? And set up a trigger, a phrase. For example, it could be instant location. And you can decide whether you want to also know the battery levels and the network quality or not. I'm just gonna disable that for now and hit done. That's it, the next time you send instant location, it sends you that detail, that's so cool. Now, the next app is called No Blue Tick. And if you wanna read someone's message without letting them know that you've actually read it, that's when you use this app, simple. Okay, so here's the app, it's called No Blue Tick, pretty obvious. And then let's say you get a message, you don't want the other person to know that you've read it, so you go into this app, No Blue Tick, and it's right there at the top. Click on it, read it, no issues. And yeah, it's really just as simple as that. Now, this is not only for WhatsApp, by the way. If you go into settings and then into chat apps, and modify chat apps, you've got all of these that this app supports. So that's a lot. And yeah, you can very easily switch between, you know, WhatsApp or Instagram or whatever it is that you have installed on your phone. And if you do feel it's all right to, you know, respond to the person, you could just hit open in WhatsApp and respond within WhatsApp. Okay, coming to the next one. If you get a lot of voice notes and you're really tired of listening to them all the time and you would rather prefer that you could just read that voice note without actually listening to it, that's when you get this next app called Transcriber. So once you've got Transcriber installed, and you get a voice note, long press on it, click share, and you'll see the option called transcriber over here. So click on it, and then it's gonna show you an ad, obviously, because you know you don't wanna pay for this stuff. But as soon as you do that, it's gonna take a while, but then it's gonna convert that entire thing into text for you to read. And so let's say you're in a meeting, or you're in bed, and you don't want to disturb others around you, that's when you use this app. Now, the next app is called Fake GPS Location, and it does pretty much what it says. It fakes your location. So for whatever security reason or personal reasons you want to do that, you can do it. So here's the app, Fake GPS Location. By the way, all links will be in the description. And once you install the app, go into settings and search for build number, okay? This is important. It's gonna take you automatically over there. Tap on it a couple of times to unlock developer options. I promise guys, it's really simple. Then go back and search for select mock location, okay? Tap on the search result and go to that point and select fake GPS location, okay? Remember to revert this, all right? If you do want to use your location uh, for real. But once you open the fake GPS location app, after setting it as, you know, the mock location uh, provider, I've set it somewhere in Boston or Massachusetts somewhere, I don't know. But yeah, now if I go into WhatsApp, it's going to 
there you go. See, I'm in the US, in the East Coast. <laughs> really, really cool. And if I send this location, yeah, it goes. And lastly, I want to talk about WA Box, which gives you a couple of additional tools for WhatsApp. So guys, this is what the app looks like in the Play Store. And the first thing is, let's say someone sends you a message and they notoriously delete it. Done. And now that you've got FOMO, you want to know what it was. With this app, you can go into view deleted messages and it's right there. And for whoever is still using WhatsApp statuses, uh, this will download the photos and videos of other people. Then there's walk and chat. Very interesting if you're so addicted to WhatsApp that you're on it all the time or that you're walking on the street and you don't want to bump into poles or people, it's going to turn on the camera and overlay the vision uh, on top of WhatsApp and or maybe behind WhatsApp and you could continue to drown yourself into WhatsApp this way. At least it's safer. Then of course there's the option to send a direct message along with the message. So you type the message, you enter the phone number, right? Of course I'm going to mask this out and you can just send this message without saving the contact's phone number. Of course, there are still many other ways to be able to send direct messages now without saving a contact, but nevertheless, it's there in this app. Also, it's got this list of ASCII emotions. You can just copy it here and then paste it on WhatsApp. You know, there's like different emotions here, happy, angry, and others. So feel free to waste your time on this. And uh, there's also shake to open WhatsApp. So you just shake your phone and WhatsApp opens up. The only issue with this app is that while it gives you a couple of features for free, it does come with a lot of ads, which can be frustrating. So if you do find value uh, in using this app, you can get yourself the premium version for a small fee and that way also support the developer. Not a bad deal. All right, that's it guys. Those were some apps that I felt work really well with WhatsApp and depending on your use case, there's probably an app in this list that could be of use to you. I hope this video was really helpful and if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and please mark all, otherwise all of this is just for nothing. Thank you, I'll see you guys in the next one.